Yes, it's true from the outside. Ostry, the two, apple of my eye. Ramelette Hanover shows speed. Lady Jack from the inside. Eternal Camnation now taken back. Around the first turn, it's Ramelette Hanover and Jim Morrill Jr. headstrong there. Yes, it's true. And Campbell applying the whip action from second. Paces on. Lady Jack settles in. Eternal Camnation, fourth on the outside. Now paces on. Magical Pride got away fifth past the quarter. Walk on the beach is sixth. Have No Secrets is seventh. And apple of my eye back. Pacing and trailing 27 and 3. Down the back stretch. And it's yes, it's true. And Campbell by two. Here comes Arch Rival Eternal Camnation. And she will now take over for Eric Ledford down the back stretch. Yes, it's true. Now back in the second spot. Ramelette Hanover is third. Lady Jack is fourth. It's Magical Pride fifth past the half now. Walk on the beach is sixth. Have No Secrets is seventh. Apple of my eye has caught the field. And at the half mile, it's Eternal Camnation on top there, 54 and 4. Yes, it's true in the second spot around the far turn. Ramel and Hanover third, coming first over Magical Pride and Kismodal. And that toes walk on the beach into the race. Roger Mayotte second over with that one now, fifth on the outside. Getting into it, have no secrets from third over. Shoveled a bit now, Lady Jack near the back of the pack with Apple of My Eye. Over three quarters now, Eternal Camnation looking pretty strong, leads it by two. But Campbell will need to shake loose out of the pocket with Yes, It's True in second. Three quarters, 123 and four. Some good rating here, and it's Eternal Camnation looking to turn it on here and out sprint. Re yes, It's True. Eternal Camnation, Yes, It's True, trying to track her down. Ramel and Hanover third, late pace from have no secrets on the far outside, but it's eternal Camnation, eternal Camnation. Jeff Miller does it again. Photo for second, have no secrets, was flying late with Yes It's True, 151 and 1. Number six, eternal Camnation. She's a four-year-old bay mare from the last crop of the great and late pacing machine, Cam Fella, out of Cool World by Nihilator owned by the Eternal Camnation Stable, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jeff Miller wins both Open Mayor's Breeders' Crown eliminations tonight, sweeping both Eric Ledford, the winning driver, polishing off his first season at the Big M with a top 10 finish in the standings. Eternal Camnation, a 149-4 and four winner of the Lady Liberty final, records her fourth win this season, 151 and 1, sprinting that last quarter in 27 and 2 fifths. The two year old Breeders' Crown champion looks to add another trophy to her mantle. Eternal Camnation looking very dominant tonight in 151 and 1. The six Eternal Camnation pace 320, 240, and 210. Seven, yes, it's true, 320, 240. Camnation has won. Eric Ledford and Jeff Miller's back. Eric, uh, first turn here, you were looped out of the gate. Was that by design? Yeah, I actually, I wanted John to make the front first. Uh, I actually wanted to cut it, and uh, I know John was wanting to either cut it himself or be in the two-hole, so uh, I let him go ahead and make the move to the front. Last time we saw her race was that race in the, uh, the Horton Eliminations, and she actually had the fastest last quarter. She didn't have much of a chance against the boys there, did she? No, she didn't. Uh, we raced relatively conservative that night. They went slow fractions, uh, and she got home a quarter and 25 seconds. Uh, is she handier now as a four-year-old than she was at two and three? No, uh, she's been handy since the first time I've ever driven her. She's She does no, absolutely nothing wrong. Well, Eric Ledford, good luck to you next week. And Jeff Miller, you're back. We just saw you a few minutes ago. Now, this morning when you woke up, did you think you'd be here twice tonight, or were you concentrating more on next week? Uh, well, I was just hoping that both of them would get to the dance next week. I wasn't worried about tonight. I uh, just wanted to race well, and, and, and they both did. He said that the, the time off actually helps her. Now, was that three weeks off by design now? Not really. Um, Flays and mares didn't fill here, and uh, we, you know, uh, I'm not much for qualifying a horse just to keep them tight. So I think tonight's race would be a good tightener for her. How much work is involved keeping a filly or any horse on top of their game at the top level for three years, two, three, and four? A lot of it's mental. I mean, once you get them physically sound, keeping them happy and, and wanting to go forward, that's, that's the biggest trick, I think, to a lot of these fillies. Is she a natural, would you say? Yeah, I, I think she... She's just like her dad. I mean, she's got, you know, she's game as game can be, and she's got a great gait. And, uh, you know, most of the time, unless they, she gets brutalized, she don't ever give up. What kind of week's coming up for the two fillies? Eh, not a whole lot of work. Um, just, 
Like you said, keeping them happy. Okay, Jeff Mills happy tonight, winning the first two Breeders' Crown Mayor eliminations. He's got a pick.